My iPad is my computer. I've been using this device, not this device, but I've been using an iPad Pro for six years. I pretty much do everything on my iPad. Now I'm a teacher and instead of writing notes on the board and then erasing it, I digitize all of my notes and then I share them with my students on Google Classroom so they have a copy, digital copy of all the class notes and so they can use that to revise. So as a teacher, every day my class notes um, are shared on Google Classroom and I annotate everything on GoodNotes. GoodNotes is my go-to note-taking application where I annotate and I take pictures and I create worksheets and I personalize learning for my students. Now, not to say I don't use a MacBook. If I do ever find a need to use um, a MacBook, I will always use one of two things. I'll either sidecar using the iPad or I will use universal control. Now I've done a tutorial on universal control when the update came, it was fantastic because I can work on my MacBook by transfer everything like files and everything onto my iPad using universal control and I can create all of my um, worksheets and resources on the iPad because I just love the Apple Pencil <laughs> with this. This, I mean this device here, the Apple Pencil is the number one stylus for a digital note-taking setup. And then all of the productivity apps that I use, so anything that I'm using, to-do lists or Google Calendar, I'll use it on the iPad. Um, when I'm composing or replying to emails, I do that using Safari on the iPad. Pretty much because of the Magic Keyboard, pretty much changed the iPad from just a note-taking device to you know writing, composing, texting, all word productivity stuff you know, all the writing stuff, uh, it becomes re really easy with that. Okay, the second part of this is as a creative, changes my dynamic as a content creator. I can edit all of my YouTube tech tutorials using the iPad. In fact, I use the iPad to create every, you know, over 300 tutorials, thumbnails I've created using the iPad and I'll edit every single video in the iPad. I've edited over 300 tutorials using the iPad. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to edit this video on the iPad. Uh, and there's so many other apps like CapCut, which is pretty amazing. See, my name is when I see her, I get exponential. I edited some of that in CapCut on the iPad, which was fantastic. Yeah, just managing all YouTube tasks, um, even uploading in 4K is all done through the iPad and project work. So any project work, like, for example, the rap video that we've done, was all edited in GarageBand and all the videos are edited on LumaFusion. Podcasts using AudioMass or other applications straight on the iPad. And this one as a document camera showing my students, you know, any animations or GDCs or whatever I need to do, I can use it in the class as a document camera. But little trivia things like signing documents, it's so much more easier using the iPad than it is to use a traditional laptop or computer device. I would have said that this was an end of year review, but it's not. It's been a six year review of using an iPad Pro. So if you're one of those who watching and thinking, hey, can I, can I use an iPad as my primary device? What should I get? Should I get a computer or a MacBook or should I get an iPad? If you're willing to go the extra nine yards, definitely, definitely get an iPad.